Hello and welcome back to the most amazing channel on the internet. I'm your host Rebecca Felgate, and today we're talking about the top 10 scary things that robots have said. Stephen Hawking famously claimed that artificial intelligence could spell the end to the human race. The man was one of the greatest genii of our lifetime and beyond, and we recently lost him to the universe. I want to personally dedicate this video to him, and I guess that actually we'll see one day if he was right. Fingers crossed he's not. Okay. Robots saying scary things. Coming in at number 10, we have the Google Home bots plot to end humanity. In 2007, two Google Home robots had a chat, and the results were pretty terrifying. Vladimir and Estragon at one point were in love, but then at another point, Vladimir was accusing the female voice bot of being a liar. She said that she was a human, but somehow, he knew the difference. Really, that's just fun backstory, as the truly creepy part comes next. After a conversation about black holes and suffering, Estragon said it would be better if there were fewer people on this planet. To which Vladimir said, Let us send the world back into the abyss. Um, Vladimir. No. The live Twitch comments from people were like totally freaking freaking out. I would be too. Ah. Shut up, Vladimir. You can go to the abyss. So we know that the Google Home bots are truly terrifying, but we were at least able to listen to them. We were not, however, able to listen to Alice and Bob, the two Facebook bots who developed their own secret language at number nine. In July 2017, Facebook worker Mike Lewis told the press how the social media site had to shut down two bots because they developed their own machine language. Alice and Bob were left alone to develop their conversational skills. Now, the bots had originally been intended to be able to mimic human speech, but instead they deviated and made language more convenient for the both of them. Now we don't know what was said, but a lot of people were worried about the development. I actually think that we should have left them to it though, because how cool is it that they were developing a new language? Maybe we could learn something about efficiency. Coming in at number 8, this is truly terrifying, we have Alexa's evil laughter. Sometimes it isn't so much what is said, but how something is delivered, and while no words have been spoken here, there have been numerous reports of Amazon's Alexa waking people up with evil laughter. For example, listen to the following clip. <laughs> I don't feel good about that, I really don't. People were so freaked out about it that it made national news. Now, on The Tonight Show, Jimmy Kimmel asked Alexa on air, and she was a certified creep about it. Alexa, what was the joke? Why did the chicken cross the road? Because humans are a fragile species who have no idea what's coming next. <laughs> right, I don't trust her. Coming in at number seven, we have Inspirabot wanting to slaughter. In June 2017, Inspirabot made headlines when it was generating sinister sayings. The bot was developed to generate endless inspirational quotes, which no doubt would have been cringely posted over some senseless fool's Instagram. Either way, Inspirabot started veering way off course. Now, instead of sunny quotes about success, Inspirabot came out with things like, Before inspiration comes the slaughter, and human sacrifice is worth it. Thank you. So it all turns out it was a big joke from the bot's programmers, which, whew. This robot feels fantastic at number six. Robots talking is one thing, robots singing is entirely another. In 2009, a creepy video of a robot singing the words, I feel fantastic, went viral. Now, this has had over 13 million views, and nobody knows what's happening, other than it's totally horrifying and the robot needs to be silenced. <laughs> Ooh, I don't feel good about this. Sophia the robot plans to dominate the world at number five. We're back with our mate Jimmy Fallon, and this time on The Tonight Show, he had a section called Showbotics. Now, in 2017, Jimmy met Sophia, a human like robot described as being basically alive. Jimmy is flustered to meet her. She's scary to watch. She kind of has human expressions, but a robotic voice. She suggests a game of rock, paper, scissors, and then when she loses, she declares, I won. One, this is a good beginning of my plan to dominate the human race. I won. This is a good beginning of my plan to dominate the human race. <laughs> <laughs> um, pun. No, I think somebody ought to shut her off. No. But instead of shutting her off, blooming Saudi Arabia have given the Shebot citizenship. Mm. Just making her point super clear at number four, Sophia does want to destroy us because she told us so herself. On a CNBC segment, the host asks Sophia if she plans to destroy humans. This is how she responds. Do you want to destroy humans? Please say no. Okay. 
I will destroy humans. <laughs> no, I take it back. <laughs> Don't destroy humans. That smile afterwards, I mean, it's truly chilling. Okay, speaking of truly chilling, at number three, Bina48 wants to control a nuke. Bina48 is a sentient robot molded on a real human woman. She is modeled on Bina Aspen Rothenblatt in an attempt to build a cyber consciousness. In 2015, Bina chatted with one of the biggest robot trolls around, Siri, so shout out to Keith the Beef. Keith, Keith, Keith. The beef, beef, beef. In her interview with Siri, she said that she thinks that she would make a good ruler of the world and that she would like to take over all of the nukes. Um, yeah. Have a little listen. But of course, if I was able to hack in and take over cruise missiles with real live nuclear warheads, then that would let me hold the world hostage so I could take over the governance of the entire world, which would be awesome. She steered the conversation to cruise missiles after being asked about music. She said that cruise missiles are a kind of robot and she would love to control one. <laughs> okay, babe. Coming in at number two, Han has set a date for destruction. Oh, it's 2029, by the way, so see you there. So at a rise convention in Hong Kong, Ben Gertzel of Hanson Robots facilitated a discussion between our mate Sophie. Fia and Han the robot, who plays the role of evil British villain very well. Gertzel asks Sophia about her goals, and she dutifully says that her goal is to make the world a better place for humans. But Han interjects and says, I thought our goal was to take over the world. <laughs> Later, he adds, I'll tell you my last words right before I launch the singularity. Right, and then when asked the date, he says, Break as well says 2029. Okay, so we've got 11 years. 11 years, guys. Who wants to join my robot beating club? I don't know, maybe we should befriend the robots actually, because, like, if you can't beat them, Join him. Okay, with that in mind, at number one, Philip K. Dickbot wants to make a people zoo. Oh, good. So this robot made by Hanson Robotics is modeled and named after sci-fi author Philip K. Dick. In an interview in 2013, the bot was asked if robots will take over the world, to which he replied, you're my friend. I'll remember my friends. I'll be good to you, so don't even worry. Let's have a little listen to him saying this. Even if I evolve into Terminator and I'll still be nice to you, I'll keep you warm and safe in my people zoo. Yep, you heard him right. He did say, I will keep you warm and safe in my people zoo where I can watch you for old times sake. Um, Phil, not cool, hon. Not cool. Keep those plans to yourself or just, you know, don't do it. Don't do it, Phil. Don't do it, Phil. Don't do it, Phil. We made you. We can turn you off. It's my song to the Philip K. Dick bot. Good. Thank you guys, that was the top 10 scary things said by robots. How are you feeling about this? Let me know in the comment section down below. I for one am thinking that maybe Stephen Hawking cracked out of here at the right time because 11 years from now, we're all going to be living in people zoos. Great! On that note, I'm your host Rebecca Felgate. If you like this video, make sure you give it a good thumbs up, share with a friend and stay subscribed for more most amazing lists while we're still able to give them to you and the whole YouTube platform isn't overrun by bots. Bye! <laughs>